I think you can do more damage the week leading up to spawning than you can from then on. I think that's when fish are most vulnerable, particularly females. When the female is full of spawn, she's ready to drop and those eggs are ripe and ready to, to drop. And you know, a big female, it might be you know, a 40 pound fish, 25% of her body weight uh, could be spawned. So uh, if, you, if you catch that fish, and they will feed before they, they're ready to drop their eggs, you know, to build up energy, they'll, they'll feed, and, and there's been lots of catch reports leading up to spawning. Um, and that's when I think they're most vulnerable, when they're really sort of ready to spawn, they're, they're bloated, they're full of eggs. And if you catch that fish and have it out on the bank taking pictures, when it's gonna be at its top weight, obviously, so it's important for the angler to get the right pictures, unfortunately. So uh, if you're taking that fish out of the water and having it on the bank for all those pictures and weighing it and getting it back right down to the right pounds and ounces, um, when that fish is full of spawn, I think that's bad news for the fish and I think that's when, if you're exhausting that fish from, from playing it in, in the fight, obviously, to begin with, and then you're taking it out of the water and starving it of oxygen, because obviously when you take the fish out of the water, the gill, has gone, the gill structure has gone from being a real nice open, uh, like the melee and gill filaments are really nice and open. When you take the fish out of water, all that water between the gills is, is gone, so the gills have club, all the gill filaments have clubbed up and they're completely inefficient in converting oxygen. So you can imagine that those fish are going to stress straight away as soon as they're out of the water. They can't breathe like they should be able to. This, you know, it's, it's warm and uh, you've got the, the mass of eggs that they're holding. You're holding up for picture and you haven't out the water. And all that time it's been starved of oxygen. I just think that's a, the perfect scenario for, for problems, I think. So, um, yeah, I, my personal opinion is that I think you could do more damage leading up to spawning. Um, than you can afterwards. I think once they've, they've spawned, obviously they've been, been through a very stressful scenario and uh, they've, they've shed all their eggs and, and they're, you know, they're, I think that they're ready to feed and, and go again, although they might take a day or two to recover. Um, I think that obviously it's, it's great to close after spawning for a few weeks, definitely get some food in, get the energy and condition back on the fish, get them, get them to help to reduce those stress levels that they've just been through, feed them up and uh, at least give me a, at least a couple of weeks in my opinion but like I say I think um, if you know that the water temperatures are climbing and the fish look like they're, they're full, full and ready to go ready to spawn I think it's a good idea to close a week before they actually do um, go through the motions but um, rightly or wrongly somebody else might have a different opinion but I personally have, I've seen fish that have been caught just before spawning and then they're found belly up um, a few weeks later and I think it's, it's got to be down to that because you know they, they get caught like I say that, that when they get caught for the spawn they're at their top weight so anglers tend to take a long, long time to uh, get a good shot of the fish at its best weight it might even be a lake record it might be a PB and all these things take time and that's uh, extra stress on the fish at a time when it just wants to get rid of that weight and uh, get on with life and start feeding so um, yeah that's my personal opinion on it but, um,